Or derogatory. Red skin? No, I don't think mm. I've ever used that language, but like. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I've actually never said, I don't even know what red skin means, honestly. Oh, I do. I just looked at your face. <laughs> <laughs> look at, like, look at the look on him. I'm sorry. That was a little, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the Victim Olympics because this is what it is. Now, for, first, we're going to get to Married at First Sight, the Victim Olympics. I wouldn't find myself reviewing this typically. I mean, I do watch it. Oh, God, I know. Kill me now. You know, with my wife, what can I say? But this one, I, I got to go over. I just have to go through it. <laughs> First, make sure you follow, subscribe, comment, like, hit the bell. I appreciate all the support, definitely. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much. The more support, the more I can do. And this, I feel like this needs to be addressed first. So, backstory. This is Married at First Sight. It's it, it, it's entertaining because it's it's like The Bachelor. Like, no one ever works out. Like, n never. It's, it's pointless. You have, like, five couples out of... 37 seasons that have worked out. So it's for ratings. It's clear. They have the experts on there. One of the experts doesn't even live with her husband. So, I mean, c come on, man. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. But this season, they decided to ramp it up a notch because they wanted to take two people who find themselves as victims and like to completely act like they are victims and put them together. The girl, who is a non-binary queer black person who claims to love being black wanted someone who understands culture. So they said, okay. So they gave her a two-spirit Native American Navajo person who doesn't know his own culture, I guess, and decided that this was going to be a good idea. No, they knew exactly what they were doing, and it was for ratings. But this is how it started out. Came out. We, we do got to be careful in Cancun, so like, That's we just, like, we can't, right we, can't go, we can't go too off the reservation. Oh, that's a reservation? No, you're fine. She laughs. Wow. But, uh, it's okay, I can hear ignorance. He huh? said, I can hear ignorance, but he is clearly offended. This guy cannot, st he can't get any more offended. Like, I've never seen someone who gets offended so easily. Like, and, and we are living in a world where people get offended by everything, and it is the Vic Olympics for real. People trying to be the biggest victim. So, I mean, now me, I've been reliably told by certain companies that under 40 non-disabled white male cannot be discriminated against. So, what can I say? I'm the only one that can't in the world be discriminated against, I guess. But this is hilarious because it starts out by one of the castmates. They're going on there. They, you know, for those of you who don't know, they're married. They get married. They've never seen each other before. And then it's an eight-week process, and they decide if they want to stay married or not. Rare, most of the time, they don't, or they're done by the time they do the reunion special. It's ridiculous. They go on their honeymoon. In this case, they went on their honeymoon, and one of the other guys said, basically, we're going to Cancun. We don't want to go off the, the reservation. It doesn't show his face. You cannot even see if there's an inflection of he's making a joke, or he just says it because, you know, it's just a thing people say. And they're like, oh, we don't want to go off the reservation, not meaning to offend or anything like that. Naturally, he gets offended, says, I hear ignorance coming from the person who doesn't really know his own culture and tries to lie about things that are going on. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. That's just how it starts out. Then they decide to start having the uncomfortable conversations. The black, queer, non-binary, bisexual, whatever she is, followed by the two-spirit Native American wind water dancer. I don't know. Then they decide to have the uncomfortable conversations. Maybe. <laughs> Do you use the N word? No. Have you ever? No. I have. Yeah, like ignorantly, in your younger years. Ignorantly yeah. and singing along with songs. Okay, ignorantly and then singing along to songs. He literally just said, yes, I was very ignorant for singing along to a song. I hate to break it to you, I don't censor myself if I sing along to a song does not make you racist if you're singing to a song. But instead, these two find themselves in this awkward position of we can act like something is ridiculous, but we can't really act like that to you because we know both of us get offended so easily. So we have to act like we understand. When in reality, he should have said, yeah, I mean, if he wanted to say he did, then say, yeah, I do sing along the songs. Do you think that's wrong? No. Same thing with the other comment of the Redskin, where he got super offended he should have been like, yeah, okay, she made a joke, whatever, 
It's fine. Who cares? But not only that, he tries to go and explain it and explain the history, which is not even 100% accurate. What he claims is his people and everything, and he, he knows that people are discriminating against him, and that joke is hurtful. And it carries on through the whole season so far of this pain. Well, the whole season, I say the whole season, this has been like one episode, but this has been a reoccurring theme since when they first went there and the guy saying off the reservation, you knew that this was going. I called this. I knew they weren't going to last. This this Victolympics cannot work because they are constantly vying for who is the biggest victim. It does not work. And then there's this one. No word derogatory. Redskin? No, I don't think I've ever used that language, but like... Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I've actually never said, I don't even know what red skin means, honestly. Oh, I do. I just looked at your face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what she does there is she appears to make a joke, but really just kind of realize something because she saw see some red tones in his face, the sunburn, whatever, decides to say, oh, I just saw that. He gets extremely offended. No one can take a joke anymore. This joke right here carries over and ultimately leads to the end of the marriage because the Vic Olympics is being won by the Native American guy, the Navajo, whatever he is. And then he decides to go on and explain, do you want to hear why? It's because they used to scalp the Native Americans and the blood running down their face. Okay, well then anyone could be a redskin, right? Because Native Americans used to scalp other Native Americans. Native Americans used to scalp white settlers, if that is the case. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of evidence of that being the actual origin from it. He's just claiming that, and that's why it's so offensive. When in reality, the Washington Redskins, who had to change their name because of all the offensiveness, really was named by people who were Native American. The owner was Native American when this happened. It was as a tribute. Do you know about that? No, because you're too busy being offended, and they're too busy fighting for who is the biggest to be offended. It's fantastic. Then they decide to enter the arena of sex. So this is the thing about this. This one happened and then everything else got brought back up. So this happened and then the whole thing with the Redskin thing got brought back up because he wanted to be the victim again because she was acting like that she was offended in this moment. So interesting for sure. It's definitely been less time for me. Um, so it's a couple months ago. Two months, probably till the day, honestly. You know, right now well, I am sex feeling worker? a bit uncomfortable. Oh my God. <laughs> my mindset going into it was I'm when they revealed it to me that here, they sir. found me a match, mm -hmm. I was engaged. That was my mindset too. Like I had sex before the reveal. Right. I didn't have sex like finding out like, oh, I'm engaged, let me go have sex now. Right, right. And it could just be um, just I don't know. Honestly, you know, very different in our approach. I'm at a point to where... I mean, if you think of Snowflake... I know what I'm worth. Snowflake. Um, you know, and so with that, I, I just don't want to hand myself out. <laughs> I'm know? a hot commodity. <laughs> so how do you feel that I had sex two months ago? Okay, 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 okay. It's not like, like a walking cornball, <laughs> like... Being honest... Uh, we like honesty. It kind of took sex off the table for me. <laughs> So this guy, who is clearly a homosexual, decided to say <laughs> he's taking sex off the off the table for this reason. Now, this guy earlier in the season, he said, yeah, I went on a date with a guy once, but he kissed me and I realized it wasn't for me. Why were you on a date with a guy to begin with? Let's start there. So I think he's got some... Un unresolved things he needs to work out. She's already said she's bi, queer, whatever she is. This is this 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 matchup makes no sense. He appears to be looking for an out. Now, that being said, I mean, she's just having sex like all the time like yeah, she knew she was in the process. That's kind of funny, but he was looking for an out and that's hilarious. And this leads to bringing up the other thing, saying he's not over her, saying that he looked, she looked at his face and got the red skin thing. Claims he's not over that yet. Now this is the problem here, because the experts have their own opinions and they're not helping. You have every right to stand firmly you know, against anyone who wants to use a derogatory term about you or your culture. Look, of all people, I get that. And she does. He gets it and she gets it. 
Why? Simply because they're black. That's what he's insinuating there. Because you can't simply say you don't understand to him because he's a Native American and minority. This is where they're doing this these backflips for the Vic Olympics. Because they cannot just simply say, hey, you're white, you don't understand. Which is what she really wanted. Because she's the one that was like, I would entertain dating a white person if they understood more. If they understood where I was coming from. But that's the problem, isn't it? You want someone to be able to say, you don't understand. Let me teach you. Let me teach you how to be, how I'm the victim. You will never be the victim. You will never understand. That's what she was insinuating. Unfortunately, they gave her someone else who was the same way. And now all through this season, you're trying to understand while not really expressing how angry you are that everyone is getting mad about stupid jokes. It is incredibly dumb. Race, but he's not giving you any. And it's almost like he's not accepting your apology or your contrition. Is that right? Yes. And I feel like that's where so much of my... Although he did until she got upset saying, um, you, uh, you were, you're not giving me any, you know, understanding because you're mad because I had sex two months before. And then she acted upset. Now he's like, how can I be the victim again? Bringing back up the red skin thing. Her is from because I do see that I hurt you. I have expressed this oh my to God. you. I have expressed this That's because he's a coward. He can't take a joke. The level. This is so ridiculous. Of what I say. The offense you see here is disgusting. The offense that she is doing, the, the trying to apologize to him, who is not simply taking a joke. Let me tell you something. You both are going to be alone forever. And she even said in the beginning, like, oh, I think sometimes you got to have a tougher skin about jokes. Take your own advice. You're destined to be alone or with a dude. You're destined to be alone or with a girl. This is pointless. This is for ratings. This is trying to show we care. The show's like, we're we're trying to have diversity. We're having all. But guess what happens when you have the victim Olympics? You have this crap. And it crashes and burns. No one is going to be with them. They will not find love unless you find an extreme beta male or an extreme beta female, or whatever you want to say, and, uh, someone who's just going to stay at home, another guy that gets you, whatever, you're, you're going to be alone. You are going to be alone. That and why it affected you, and I still feel like you're just like, you don't get it, you don't get it, and I'm consistently telling you I do get it. You have. You know, I wouldn't say that you haven't, but when we do get onto the discussion of this, I, I still have not been able to truly say how I have felt. Let's do it now. Let's ridiculous, ridiculous. So she, he's saying, you know, I, I do get it. I, I've been there. Like you don't. So they are fighting with you don't understand with someone who is supposed to be another person who gets it. It's incredibly ridiculous. My God. Multiple times. And honestly, we haven't. You keep saying that every time we talk about this, it goes zero to 100, but we haven't talked about it. <laughs> So I don't appreciate you saying that we He's have lying. We actually have discussed love it. it. I've been trying to research and just get myself more aware of just terms in general, not just derogatory terms, but terms of endearment in the Navajo culture, terms, anything that I could just get off Google. Orion, how do you feel about that, that she's proactively trying to learn more? I respect it and I really appreciate it. <laughs> and it, you know, it speaks low to what we're dealing with. Is that not enough for you? Unfortunately. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. All that. She's like, I'm trying to understand terms of endearment and things, and I'm trying to understand more. She is feeling what a person she want to beat down, like a white person that she would want to beat down for not understanding her. She's feeling what that person would feel right now because he got the upper hand with the Vic Olympics because he's just not letting it go. And apparently she is not quite as offended as he is. He is extremely offended and wants to be this victim. So guess what? You're going to be alone. You're going to be alone, but y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve everything you're getting right now. And it is hilarious. All of this from her simply saying, oh, I, I, I don't even know what was what, what the red skin. Be? Oh, I just looked at your face. Ha ha ha. And him saying, oh, come on. That's just silly. You know, I mean, at least she tried to play it off when now as stupid as it is, it is for him to say, yeah, I've used the N word in songs and, you know, I was ignorant and all that. That was dumb. That was dumb. But she tried to play it off and said, oh, can I punch you for my ancestors? Which is also stupid because you, you, you're not, you've never been a slave. But it's stupid. But she did playing it off like, okay, we're good now. She literally said that. 
And I will give her props for that, even though she should have never been offended in the first place or cared about him saying anything in a song. Him, on the other hand, wants to be with one with his people, and why are they doing this? Never mind the fact that Native Americans ran out other tribes, you know, tortured other tribes, skinned other tribes, you know, scalped other tribes. We're not even talking about white settlers here, doing it to them or them doing it to them. So are you talking about your tribe doing stuff to other tribes or other tribes doing stuff to your tribe? What about that? How, do you want to talk about that? Or are we only going to talk about, oh, white settlers would scalp Native Americans and the blood running down, so I'm saying that's why that's a redskin thing. No. One of two things is happening here. Either he just he just decided, I want to be with a dude because he, claim, he went on a date with a dude, but oh, it wasn't for him when the dude kissed him. Give me a break. Or he just, he really is that offended and he's destined to be alone. One or the other. Either way, when you have the victim Olympics like this, it it this is it inevitably ends this way. As soon as they said this and this was going to be the couple or whatever, like, yep, they're not going to last. They're not going to be, because they're going to be fighting for the biggest victim. I have a witness. You can ask my wife about that one. Uh, they will always be fighting for the biggest victim. And now they're already talking about divorce and they're not going to be done or they they don't even have finished their honeymoon. It's hilarious. Again, please don't judge me for watching the show, but I'm not going to lie. It's entertaining to watch because you just sit there with your popcorn and laugh about it because they deserve everything they're getting. Absolutely. I don't know if we're going to do any more (laughs) more of these, but if there's one entertaining enough, we just might. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you follow, and I will see you next time.